The Goat House is back with my favorite picks and locks of NFL Week 7. Last week, we had an insane week. Hoping to do it again. Really excited to break down these picks. Let's take a look at what I got. These are my two favorite spread picks of Week 7. If you want to pick against the spread, plus a score prediction for every single game, check out this video, most recent one on the channel. But, yeah, I don't have that absolute guaranteed lock. Like, if you watched the video last week and I was all over the lines, minus 3.5 against the Cowboys, I was locking it in, I was guaranteeing it. These aren't quite on that level, but these are my favorite picks. I like that we're getting points on these ones as well. The Giants, I have winning. I have both these teams, Giants and Buccaneers, winning outright. They are upsets, but uh, getting three and a half points, and I know the Giants been bouncing around between three and three and a half on some apps. I did have to record this uh, a day earlier just this week uh, compared to normal, so maybe the line changed by the time this is up. I apologize if that's the case, but uh, I have the Giants winning. Like I said, I'm expecting Neighbors to be back. I'm not going to pick pick them to win if he's not back, but it looks like he's back. Eagles defense is it's getting better, but it's still a little vulnerable. You know, they can move the ball on the Eagles defense for sure. I mean, they're not going to move it up and down the field on them, but they'll be, be able to move the ball. The Giants are semi-productive through the air and on the ground. The defense has been lights out because the defensive line might be the best in football led by Dexter Lawrence. And with the injuries of the Eagles and their lack of offense lately, that could cause some issues. Uh, you know, it, it, they could get A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith were going last week. They could get going even more. Giants corners are playing pretty well. Remember, Andrew Phillips is back for a second week straight. Uh, I like the Giants' chances. Giants' chances. They're home, plus 3.5. Buccaneers match up well with the Ravens. Yes, it is the Ravens. They could just overpower them because how good they are. But in Tampa on Monday Night Football, the Ravens have been on fire because they're very good. But because they've been playing the very worst run defenses in football. All the teams that they just beat up, all the some of the worst run defenses in football. And let's get it straight, though. The Ravens could run on anyone, but doesn't mean they're going to do that on everyone. The Buccaneers have a very, very good run defense. They're, gonna, they're not going to stop them. They're going to slow Derrick Henry. They're going to put the Ravens in awkward situations. They can throw the ball on the Bucs, but... They, they live and die by that run game, getting everything else going. And the Ravens' defense is not the same as what it used to be. Uh, their run defense is, but the Buccaneers win with the pass. Baker, those weapons, specifically Mike Evans, I think has a really big game. I think they win the game because of the matchup at home in Monday Night Football. But uh, they're getting three and a half points. Should stay close. Uh, if I It's weird because if I had to pick between the Giants and the Bucks, which team am I more confident with just straight up winning? I'm actually thinking the Bucks, But with the spread... I'm probably leaning the Giants because if the the Ravens are so good that maybe there is some small percentage chance that the Ravens just destroy the Buccaneers. I'm not counting on it. The Giants game, even if they lose, they're going to keep it close. But last week we did go 2-0, uh, which I was calling those more of locks, a little more confidence last week. But these are my confident picks uh, for this week here against the spread. These are my straight-up locks of the week so these teams just got to win my number one is the buffalo Bills, so a little bit separate than the other ones they're playing the titans the titans have the game it was made for them last week against the colts they're beating them and the run's working and they put it in levis's hands and they lost this is one of those games where the bills dominate they had a lot of big wins already this year this is another one of those yeah the titans could run on the bills but bill josh allen and company gonna make too many big plays and the defense will be just fine they'll create turnovers from will levis He'll make another negative highlight moment again this week. I like the Rams off the bye getting a little healthier, and they are a much better team at home. They play the Raiders. They match up well because Kyron Williams will be able to run well. Stafford should be able to throw well, and the Raiders don't present too many problems uh, on their offensive end against the Rams. And the Commanders against the Panthers, it could be a little scary because the Panthers can play some offense, right? They move the ball, and the Falcons, they score a lot of points against them. And the Commanders... The Panthers, that is, and the Commanders' defense isn't the greatest in the world, you know. So the Panthers might run well, specifically on them. But it has the makings of being a big Commanders win. They have those big wins. They're scoring like thirty plus points of games in their wins. I think they're going to score around thirty four or more in this game. I think bottom line thirty one. So they'll get going. They might be up so early because you know I, I've, they're going to convert those third downs like the, the best team in football doing that and they're going to go for fourth downs in, in crucial situations even early close range situations um, so I think they'll get that lead early and possibly take the run game away by default from the Panthers and win big so I am a little more confident with the Bills and the Rams and the Commanders but those uh, they feel like locks to me we were 3-0 and uh, on these last week make sure to check out our weekly pick show right here with the guys that join me different perspectives and a fun time on uh, a bunch of those games for every single week. Total locks. I'm crushing the Buccaneers over. I don't know why it's set so low. Vegas knows something that I guess the rest of us don't. But 
Buccaneers over 22 and a half. They're going to score 23 or more points. Uh, this is a explosive, explosive offense. I know they really got going on the ground game last week, so maybe that's why people, Vegas is like, well, the Ravens really stopped the run well. They won't be able to do that, but the Buccaneers are all about their passing game. That's where it starts. The running backs even catch the ball very well, uh, whether it's Bucky Irving or Rashad White or Sean Tucker. They're all very good pass catchers out of the backfield, but the receivers are stars. You know, Mike Evans is going to dominate this game, his physicality. Chris Godwin is maybe having his best year yet. Baker is having his best year of his career. They will score on this Ravens defense, this pass defense that is not the same as what it used to be. Uh, I have them... I think I think the bottom line is 27 for me. So uh, maybe 26 if it's more of a field goal game. But 22 and a half is a little disrespectful for the Buccaneers. There, I'm going under Broncos Saints under 37 and a half. Two qu- rookie quarterbacks that are playing good defenses. They'll be blitzed a lot uh, and they will struggle a little bit. They're going to be worried. The coaches are going to be worried. Those quarterbacks will turn the ball over through the air, so they stick. Will t- they will stick to the ground game. The Saints most definitely will stick to the run game. The Broncos defense has been outstanding. Saints as well, except for last week. But that's going to be a low score I think the max is like I had 17 16 I think the max is probably the very max would be just under this like 20 to 16 but I, I yeah I, I really don't see the Saints scoring more than that the Bronco I mean the Broncos are going to play it safe I could see like a 13 to 10 13 to 12 final honestly and then I'm going to go over on the Ravens Bucks game as well uh I, both teams are very capable of scoring I was going to say 30 plus but bottom line 27 plus points there could be a little more defense than expected in this game, but that still has the over. When you when you see a game like this with two offenses and not so great pass defenses, and you see it sitting at 40 and a half, you take a chance on it. If it doesn't hit, you go, well, that was weird. It was worth a shot. So uh, these are my favorite, uh, mainly that Bucks team total. Uh, make sure to subscribe to your notifications on because you have loads of content here, but more picks to get to right now. Feels like a good week for, for some teasers, or at least one here. There's a lot of good teams that are underdogs, so you can add some more points to it. So there's more teams I really like than, than this. These are my three favorites to pair together. Chiefs are already underdogs, plus 7.5. I think they're going to win that game. If they lose, they're not going to lose by more than a touchdown. Bills minus 2.5. I think they're going to crush the Titans. I think bottom line, bottom, bottom line is win by 6. Win by 3, you still cover this. And you know Jets Steelers are going to stay close. I have the Jets winning that game. Uh, plus six and a half if you want to play it safe or go seven and a half sure uh, but uh, they'll be able to run the ball on the Steelers not like they did on the Bills but they'll be able to run the ball the Steelers believe it or not aren't the best stopping to run Rodgers with Devontae Adams they'll make some noise there and that defense is great that pass defense will cause problems for whoever it is Russ or Justin Fields but uh, you have to imagine if you could throw the Bucks or the Giants who I like as underdogs in as a teaser uh, the Patriots, a lot of points, like plus 13 and a half, feels like a good one as well. Uh, you know, there, there's there's quite a few you can go with there. Uh, and then the, I like the money line. Just throw a couple bucks and the bucks plus 150. Why not? You know, I, I there's not too many games where it's like, yes, the matchup says this team. This week, it's a weird week where it's like really good matchups, like even matchups. And the Ravens, I think, at the end of the day, are better than the Bucks. But head-to-head, I like the way the Bucks match up at home Monday Night Football. We talked about it. They, they, their run defense is really good, and that's the Ravens game. And I think the Bucks could pass all over the Ravens as well. So I could even see them winning by, by you know more than just like a close game. But always have our last second and more picks on our Twitter slash X. Link in the comments. Check that out. Anytime touchdown picks that we killed last week. I got Kyron Williams scoring against the Raiders. Justin Jefferson, they're going to move him around quite a bit against the Lions. He'll score against them. Kenneth Walker, the Seahawks have been like trying to run more, like first down, second down run. They're insisting on it. And against the Falcons, you definitely ha- you definitely should do that. I don't think it was the right play against the Niners, but it's the right play uh, against the Falcons. So Kenneth Walker should find the end zone. He has the opportunity to catch uh, you know, a touchdown pass as well. And then Mike Evans, I think, is going to be too physical for those Ravens corner on Mon- corners on Monday Night Football. He's, he's going to score a perfect red zone target. And then best plus options, I think Chase and Neighbors both score, and they're positive odds uh, there. So you can kind of, you know, bet those uh, by themselves. And then you, you pair some of the ones at the top there, but always have more touch. My final touchdown picks and props on our Twitter and my college football pick of the week. Since we started doing this, we are three and zero. we hit on Miami of Ohio last week. And I'll give you a bonus when I like Miami of Ohio again, they're minus three and a half against Ohio. Just not calling that my absolute lock. We have more picks 
than this and our parlay, which is on fire for our Twitter subscribers. So check that out. Link pinned in the comments. But I'm going with Rutgers this week. Rutgers minus four and a half home against UCLA. New Big Ten team UCLA coming all the way from the West Coast. as a far, far travel. Yeah, I mean, Rutgers got their ass kicked last week and UCLA has been surprisingly playing some teams kind of close. But that far travel... Maybe some wind, maybe a little bit of cooler weather. It's not super cold right now, but the Rutgers have a physical approach. You know, I think they're going to dominate the trenches trenches in this game and beat up on UCLA and cover that four and a half. It started at eight and a half. It's dropped to four and a half. So eight and a half was so much that people were throwing money on UCLA, but it, it helped us. It dropped it down to a pretty solid uh, line here, but. Uh, I will say I was probably a little more confident in the first three weeks of, of games of college football that we did, uh, but um, this this one is pretty solid. There's some other ones I was considering putting up here. The last uh, the last few weeks it was no brainer which one I was calling my absolute lock and throwing up there. This this week was a little close, but it does mean that I like some other games. And then we'll pick out a parlay again three weeks in a row hitting that. That's Twitter subscribers get that content it usually rolls out sometime later on Thursday, uh, but or earlier on Friday, but we got games nonstop here. But that'll do it for the locks video. Check out our score predictions video. Check out our weekly pick show, power rankings, and a lot more. Like, subscribe, to notifications on so you don't miss any of that content. We much appreciate if you help us out with that as well. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.